protection to protect them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My Father and my God, I thank you. Yes, Lord, I bless your name. I give you all the glory, Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. I'm going to read to you the book of Romans 8, verse 1 and 2. The book of Romans 8, verse 1 and 2. The Bible says, There, there, there is therefore now no condemnation, no condemnation to them who are in Christ, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit, for the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free the law of sin and death. The Bible is telling us, Hallelujah, praise the name of Jesus. The Bible is telling us there is no condemnation to them who are in Christ, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit, for the law of the Spirit of, of life is in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law. First of all, the Bible is saying there is no condemnation to those who in Christ. There is no condemnation to those who Christ, who walk not after the flesh, but after the law, for the law of the Spirit of life is in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death. There is no condemnation. There is no condemnation. Let, let us go with that. There is no condemnation to those who believe in Christ Jesus. Once you believe Jesus Christ, there is no condemnation. Anybody who is condemning you, chatting you, he will not go free because our God in heaven, he is in heaven and he will deal with them. People who are being condemned and being charged in court and they have been prisoned, they have been put in prison for life, some of them, they are even hanged, they are killed, something they did not do. And here is the children of God, whereby the devil, Satan, has put them in prison and jailed them, and they are still in prison. But I come to you the good news that in the name of Jesus Christ, no condemn condemnation, you have to stand firm and refuse by the power in the blood of Jesus. There was a man who was arrested and put in prison, something he did not do because he was preaching the gospel of God, the gospel of Jesus Christ. And it was night, night, night time. I'm going to read to you the book of Acts, and you will see this person who was preaching Jesus, he did not do anything, but he was arrested and put in prison and chained, very tight chain. So, they, because the Bible says there is no condemnation to those who believe in Christ Jesus, who walk not af after the flesh, but after, but after the Spirit, for the law of the Spirit of life is, is in Christ Jesus, has made me free. People of God, there's things which is going around the world. Many people, even in prison, when you go and hear the cases of some people, for every sake, these people, they were, they were just a scapegoat. They were arrested for no reason, and they, 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 they were just, they jailed, and they, 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 they did for sure. God knows, and even, ever, ever, even him, the, the person know he did not do that crime. But the court found him guilty and put him in prison. When Peter was found guilty, he was locked in, in, in prison. Let's look in the book of, of Acts 12, verse 1, verse, verse 5. The book of Acts, verse 5, the Bible says, 12, verse 5, the Bible says, But while Peter was in prison, the church prayed very earnestly for him. So, some people who are in prison right now, that's why I, I come up with this prayer, that we need to pray for them. We need to pray for them because the church prayed for Peter and a miracle happened. That's why we are, uh, the title is Appearing God, Appearing a Prayer for Court of Heaven. Appearing Prayer for Court of Heaven. So, the Court of Heaven, 
as we would pray, we would win. We will win the people who are in prison. Whether you know them or you don't know them, we are going to pray for them. Because some people, they are innocent. Some people, yes, they did crime, but God has forgiven them. When God has forgiven them, nobody will judge them. That's why the Bible says there is no condemnation to those who believe in Christ. And they are walking not after flesh, but after the Holy Spirit. And the, the role of the spirit of, of, of the, the spirit of life in Christ Jesus. Therefore, we are not supposed to condemn them, change them, to, to bring them condemnation. Yes, they can be a victim, but there are some people who did not do anything. They are suffering in prison. That's why we need to pray for those people. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. My God, I thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. My God, thank you, Jesus. Thank you once again. Hallelujah. I want to welcome once again. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you for joining. Thank you for coming. Welcome. God bless you. Now, Bina, the church prayed. The Bible says the, the church prayed. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. The, the night before Peter was to be placed on trial, he was asleep, fasting, with two chains between two soldiers. Others stood guided at the prison gate. You know, Peter was chained, fastened, fastened, fastened with two chains between the two soldiers. Peter was chained with the soldiers, two between two soldiers. Another one is here and another one. He was in the middle and he was fastened. He was chained in prison. And the other guides were guiding at the door. That Peter cannot get out, cannot go, nobody will come to help Peter. Your help will come. Wherever your, your help will come in Jesus' name. Maybe you have, you have, you have a, a somebody who is in prison. You don't know what, what you are doing. You, don't, you have been looking. You don't have money for the lawyers. You have nothing. You've been worried. You have been crying. You've been thinking. But, but your help is coming. Your help is coming. Maybe you have a case whereby you are thinking how this case will, how it will come out. I am telling you that you will win. Your time is coming when the Holy Spirit is coming to release you from that case. I pray that those people who are thinking and worrying and crying, the help has come. God has remembered you. You will be set free in the name of Jesus. Now, the Bible says, Another, Others stood guide at the prison gate. Certainly, there was a bright light in the cell, and an angel of the Lord stood before Peter. And the angel struck him on the side to awaken him and said, Quick, get up! And the chains fell off his waist. The angel told him, Get dressed and put on your sandals. And he did. Put and put on your coat and follow me. The angel ordered Peter. Peter, who was chained um, with, with, with the soldiers, the chain got loose, and the angel told Peter to wear his sandals and coat and follow him. The angel of the Lord will come to deliver you from that prison. The angel of the Lord will come to deliver your person in the prison. The angel of the Lord will come to, this is the time the angels of God will go and visit, and visit the prison and release your people. This is the time Jesus was sleeping in the grave, and the angel was guiding. When the, two, when the soldiers were guiding the grave of Jesus, the tomb, the soldiers were guiding the tomb so that not, nothing would happen to the body of Jesus Christ. And the angels was there watching what, what these people were doing. But when Jesus was, was resurrected from the tomb, the angels, the, the soldiers didn't know and didn't see anything. 
until they, when they saw the woman coming to look at the tremble, they were asking, what, what, what? You see, the same angels, God will assign him, assign them. They will go to the prison of your people, where your people are being locked. The people who did not do anything, the innocent people, that will go and release them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God has heard your cry. You've been crying for your people. Even the people themselves who are locked in prison, they've been wondering and saying, God, we did not do this, but we found they found us guilty. What are we going to do? They put them in prison, some in life, some even hung. Some they put many years in prison because of what they didn't do. But the end of God, around this time, will visit every prison and release your people in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray that this prayer will reach out the whole world, wherever being prisoned with innocent without doing anything will be released in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Father, I thank you for this prayer program that you, you because the weapons of, your, of our warfare are not carnal, but are mighty to pull down to uh, of satanic strongholds. As we pray that these prayers, it is going to, to pull down every stronghold that is holding your people, that is holding your people in captivity in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray that God, in the name of Jesus, during the night like this, that is the time the angel went to Bera and released him from the prison, the angel of God. This is very true. The Bible says, Peter went and found the church were praying. The church did not know that Bida is, is, uh, was released. They continued praying earnestly and believing that God is going to release Bida. When Peter was locking the door, they thought that it's a ghost. They didn't, they, even the, 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 the members of the church they did not, they, they didn't know that Bida can be released such a time at night. They were expecting that when he would be taken to, to the trial, those people would forgive him and set him free. But the angel disgraced them. The angel of God is going to disgrace the enemies that are accusing you. Every satanic prison, whether in, in the spiritual realm or on physically, the angel of God is going to disgrace them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I declare that Jesus is Lord over your life, spirit, souls, and body. You are satisfied by the blood of Jesus, redeemed by the blood of Jesus, justified by the blood of Jesus. Therefore, people of God, I pray that God Almighty, who dispatched the angel, who, who, who sent the angels to prison to release Peter, he will send the angels to, to release you in Jesus' name. Wherever you are, in, in, in a spiritual realm, whether in the spiritual realm or in physical, in, 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 in spiritual, in spiritual, in, in physical, the angel of God will visit you. The angel of God will visit you in prison, will visit your people in prison, will visit you physically to set you free in Jesus' name. I cut off every chance that you have been chained. Every chain that you have been chained, I cut them off in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, my Father and my God, I pray, let every evil and writing against your life be cancelled by the power in the blood of Jesus. Every evil and writing against your life be cancelled by the blood of Jesus. I pray every satanic utterance are asking for your downfall. I command them to receive the fire of God and be scattered in the name of Jesus. I pray every satanic law it revoked against your destiny be cancelled by the law of the Spirit of God, the Spirit of life in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I pray that every satanic law, I pray every satanic law invoked against your destiny be cancelled by the law of the Spirit of the life of Jesus. Any power working to unseat you from your place of presence, I command them to fall down and perish in the name of Jesus. I pray the blood of Jesus. Lord, I plead the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus. 
I bleed the blood of Jesus. I pray, God Almighty, every satanic judge holding your court, your court against you, in the name of Jesus Christ, whether spiritually or physically or in the dream, I command them to fall down and die in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray that let your people be set free from the prison, prison of satanic prison, prison of physical and, and spiritual. In the name of Jesus, I pray that Jesus Christ was arrested. He did not do anything. Even he was found guilty and they put him to uh, and sentenced him to dead sentences. Every enemy that is sentenced, putting sentences against you, let, the, let these sentences die and be destroyed in Jesus' name. In the spiritual realm, they will arrest you and sentence you and put you in prison, put you in jail. When you are in jail, I'm telling you, there is nothing, there is no even prophet can pray for you. There is no pastor that can release you unless you know how to break these prayers. You are in the church, you do everything, but there is nothing working. Because maybe, because sometimes, or not sometimes, the devil has put you in prison, in a spiritual realm, you, you are in jail there. That's why you are living that life, very difficult life like that. You need a spiritual mother, you need a spiritual father who understands spiritual warfare to help you. You can be in your best church, but your pastor does not know spiritual warfare. You need help. You need help, my friends. You need help. You need to come out from prison, satanic prison, from the prison of, of the devil, from physical prison and, 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 and spiritual prison. You need to come out. That's why you need some people like me who know spiritual warfare to help you. Some people are in prison and they don't know if they are in, whether they are in prison. Look at what Peter did. What did Peter did to be in prison physically? Peter was locked in a in a in a, in a hardly prison. And here there's there is satanic prison whereby you are being locked and you are not aware. You dream that you are jailed, you are, you are being put in handicap. The devil comes and put you handicap and that's it. You are chained. You are not moving anywhere. You are not doing anything. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, every evil gate standing against your progress, I command them to be dismantled by the fire of God in Jesus' name. I pray every wall of Jericho broken entry into your canon. I command them to corrupt by the thunder and the fire of God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray that God Almighty will release you from the prison, will release you from the hands of the enemy, will release you from the powers of darkness in the mighty name of Jesus. Darkness, when Jesus died, it was darkness. Jesus, when he was died, everything was stand still. The curtain was, was teared from, from the top to down. That was that the enemy has killed him for no reason. He did not do any sin. Therefore, people of God, let the curtain be, the, be, cut, be cut from the top of the, to the ground in the name of Jesus. Every curtain that is tying you down, every curtain that is covering you, let it tear to pieces in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray that every power, Anyone that is holding you captivity, every satanic prayer that is the satanic prayer that is holding you captivity, let them be destroyed in Jesus' name. I bleed the blood of Jesus. I bleed the blood of Jesus. By the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, we remember this time. This time that you were you died, you were crucified. We remember this time that Jesus, what you went through without doing anything. You were accused. False prophets, false, uh, false witnesses were there. False prophets were there. False teachers were there. They were celebrating and grabbing the hand and says, release Paranaba instead of the son of the living God. The enemy who are celebrating and grabbing hand and mocking you, let them be discussed and exposed in the name of Jesus. My Father and my God, I want to thank you so much, God. I want to honor you and glorify your name. I pray that God, every prisoner, anybody who is in prison with, without being, without, without, he, he did not do anything. He, just, he was just being a suspect and locked in. 
I pray that I pray God to release them. Lord Almighty, God of justice, to reach them and release them. If you have a case in court, I pray that case that to be thrown away in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray that you have repented to God and that God has answered your prayer. Therefore, there is no condemnation to those who believe in Christ. Once you, have, you, believe, you believe Christ, God has forgiven you and there is no condemnation. No one that he will condemn you. Therefore, people of God, I pray that God Almighty let you, God set you free from the powers of darkness, from the prison, physical and spiritual prison in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My God and my Father, I thank you. I bless your name. I give you all the glory. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. I want to thank you so much. Thank you for coming. Thank you for joining. God bless you. God bless you so much. Have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful time. Uh, tomorrow, we will see you tomorrow morning, 8 o'clock. We will have another prayer session. I think we will continue praying or I will see what the Holy Spirit will, will let me, will give to me. But we need to pray and remember those people who are in prison who did not do anything. They were locked in. We are the people to intercede for them and pray for them. We, even if you don't know them, let the angels of God go and release them in the mighty name of Jesus. If you have a member, you are a member, your family who is suffering in prison and they did not do anything, this is the time that you will ask the angels of God to go and visit them in the name of Jesus. I thank you so much. Remember to go to our, our website, www.overcomeusdhministryprogspot.ca Go, and, go and, and get the videos. There's a, videos, a lot of videos there. You can help yourself. They are there. They can help you. Therefore, people of God, you can also send me email overcomersdhm at gmail.com. Our numbers, you can reach us through our number. Our direct number is 905-487-7104. Or you can call me directly line 905 Or you can call the free number 877-241-3420 extension 101. God bless you so much. See you tomorrow 8 o'clock. Have a wonderful time and enjoy yourself. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful time. This is your host, Reverend Dr. Christine Sik, saying bye-bye to you. I love you so much. There's nothing I can do about it. Thank you and have a blessed time. People of God, thank you. Bye. Bye-bye.